Oh, hey everybody, uh, I'm Diego here, and I'm a little sick right now, so I'm going to sound a little different in this video. But uh, anyways, I updated a new theme, new colors, new everything to the podcast, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh my, there's no way that's real. This is real. It's that all, can't all be fucking real. That, that, <laughs> that looks so cool. There's two... Welcome to a Common Crisis podcast. This is me and Zach, and today we're bringing you a new, another episode. Um, hey Zach, how's it going? Good, man. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about the first one because you told me about it, and I haven't got to see it yet. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna check it out. So I already have it on screen here, but I won't show you guys yet either. We'll just kind of observe this. We're gonna see Zach's reaction, basically. This is what the James Webb Telescope. Oh my! There's no way that's real. This is real. It's that called can't a be fucking... galaxy. That, it's, <laughs> it's real. Look. that looks so cool. And there's two other galaxies. Three. There's so many. You can see so many fucking galaxies. Those are galaxies with yes, those are galaxies. solar systems, with planets, with billions, trillions of planets, and millions Which possibly tri- billions of of solar systems that's i mean well star systems that's insane and um this is a mid infrared instrument you can see here i'll pull up a bigger oh, image of it that looks beautiful too so uh basically to kind of explain this in a way i know it seems kind of weird but <laughs> So this cartwheel galaxy that you see here is uh, it's pretty funky. It was kind of a result of two galaxies colliding. Uh, it has two rings, the outer ring here, you can see. And it has the mid ring. Yeah, it looks like there's right a galaxy here, inside of it. Exactly. So, so cool. These are planets on the end of it. But this is the actual galaxy. So I'll put it in monkey terms. This is the solar system. And just imagine there's, our there's... solar system had rows and just like lines our solar and no it's our galaxy and our solar system is in our galaxy. sorry yeah our galaxy sorry 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. our okay. galaxy the milky way and there's just lines of planets and stars and dwarfs and black holes and <laughs> there's whatever. probably not that Everywhere. many black holes but i you, that would probably make it look you know, we, all we funky though know. We don't even know what's here. It's just yeah. so much stuff here. Even this picture, we have a galaxy in the corner right here. We have and there's a bright ass star. Like that is so br- like yeah. brighter, almost as bright as the galaxy. How is it two stars that are that bright? We have these two galaxies on the side. This one looks very similar. You can see all the little galaxies, galaxies in the background too. Yeah, you can just see them. Now, so they call this the Cartwheel Galaxy. Uh, it's in the constellation of Scuttler, or Scut uh, A constellation is kind of a pattern of planets that look like something, and they just name it after a type of astrology. Uh, what's it called? Um, just an, like a basic astrology word. <laughs> it, this is actually uh, moderately smaller than the Milky Way. Our Milky Way is bigger than this. Oh wow! But it's the stuff inside of it because our milky way is mostly empty sometimes like this pocket is milky way that are empty yeah, it's this spiral cool. so there's like concentrated areas of, of stars and star yeah. systems but as you can see in this picture this looks like it's full yeah of just lines and rows i mean there's obviously these dark parts right here as you can see but there's just rows and what do you rows think that color is of... like is it the gases uh i there? got no is idea the types of stars like temperature it's, it's crazy <laughs> and obviously this is all gas and dust uh, and the compression probably makes a a little yellow pinkish type of ring like forms around it but uh this is 500 million light years away and 150,000 light years in diameter uh it's really far away from us 
It was discovered by Fritz Zwicky in 1941, and he considered this discovery to be one of the most complicated structures ever to be discovered in space. So pe- people knew about this before us and just didn't tell us. Okay. Well, the fact that we just didn't get a clear picture of it. Yeah, that's yeah. A, this is amazing. This is probably better than anyone's ever seen it. This like, is something it, it, else. This is insane. So how this formed was that uh, a, a smaller galaxy, which is a normal spiral one that we have, just the Milky Way. Uh, another little little galaxy literally bullseyed it in the middle of the... So every galaxy usually has a black hole in the middle of it. If I'm not wrong, right? Like, our Milky Way has a big black hole in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Most galaxies, I think, have one. Yeah. So, a regular ring, probably the size of our galaxy... And another galaxy that's a little bit smaller, maybe, I can't show you a reference, but just a little smaller, collided bullseye in the middle of the black hole of the bigger one, and it, they both collided and it shrunk into this one. And they both combined. But that took hundreds of years. That didn't just take like a second. That took million. 300 million years yes. to just spin in a circle. It's similar to what's going to happen to Andromeda and... Um, Milky Way in about a few million years. Yeah, I was just looking. I was gonna look up how how long until that happens. I know it's a yeah, hundred should... million years. I think. Uh, it's gonna take a long time. So whenever a galaxy and another galaxy are about to collide, they spin like a you know, like one of those things that you put on your table. Oh, I'm actually wrong. And you just spin it with your fingers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, um. Five billion years is when we will collide with Andromeda. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a long so, time. That's a bigger number compared to 300 million years it took for this thing to even form. And by the way, this isn't even what we... That's current in the present. This is what happened 300 million years ago, basically, because life has to travel all that way. It has to travel 500 million uh, years to get to us. So we don't even know how it looks like right now. At this current second you're watching or hearing this oh, video, yeah. we have no idea we'll what this galaxy looks like. like. We have... Exactly. We have no idea what anything looks like past our solar system, basically, like right now. If you, even if, with like, Jupiter. On the cosmic scale, if you would like put the entire timeline of the universe into like a calendar, we'd be like a microsecond of time, our lives. We'd be like a microsecond on that, that calendar. Yeah, like, we are point very one of a significant. Second. The time that we're here, and it's so little. Like the the universe is so old, and it's like whack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like uh, there's some videos on YouTube which kind of show this in a way. It's when they show the whole timeline of existence and our little period of like from uh, from I know because we we have our own calendar, but let's just say from when Jesus was dead. Mm-hmm. to now in the 2000 like they're only the first 2000 years of human whatever we're gonna use just ad right after jesus died um that's like it literally it's not even in the video it's not even in a video it, the pixel as maybe like one little pixel yeah humanity is like that's how a, a minute yeah humanity is a minute i'm like <laughs> if our if we had a, a 60 minute video on the entire timeline of the universe it would be like a, not even a minute it'd be like 20 seconds that would be like a couple of days just, we couldn't even make a video on the timeline of the entire universe because exactly. we don't know it but and that should that would be long it would be way longer than 60 minutes it would be like it's, it would be it's days long joke. like like a 100 hour it's video it's a joke how like I know yeah I know. literally now, um, this kind of shows that we're very insignificant in a way. <laughs> I think nothing really matters in a way, if you can think about it. Yeah. Very, it's very That's... niche because some big thing could happen in the world and it wouldn't really matter. Cause yeah, about, about some, some big stuff. Did you see what's going on with China? Today, Nancy Pelosi landed there. Uh huh. Um, it was about 4 p.m. Eastern. She landed there. Um, but let's go over some stuff. 
uh, when this first started about five, six days ago, uh, the, you know, China figured out that Pelosi might be going to Taiwan and they're like, hey, we'll shoot down her plane. Don't try it. And then the United States uh, said that they would not be intimidated, basically, and that they would protect Pelosi. And then they also sent a naval strike group near Taiwan and then kept reinforcing that strike group over time. Um, yeah, but now they haven't done anything so far, anything that I've seen. Have you seen anything, Diego? Nope. They landed. Was she landed like three hours ago, four hours ago? Yeah, about almost four hours ago. Probably like four hours ago. Nothing happened. <laughs> I guess China. Was I mean, bluffing. it's it's I only mean, been four hours. It it could something could happen in an hour. Exactly. In a couple hours in a day. Um, but realistically, but... people really assume military operations happen like that. They don't. No. Anything could really happen in the next day or so. Yeah. Do you know why she's there? Then, though? Like a lot of a lot of people are talking about it. Sorry that I, I kind of cut you off at another okay. you talking. I think she's there because of her her um, South Asia visit, right? She visits. Yeah, yeah. She, she visits Singapore. She's going there. She's going to Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan, and possibly a couple other ones. But that's uh, all the countries they release. It's their meeting. It's a congressional delegation. She's just leading it. It's, so it's a bunch of people from the government. Um, but mm -hmm. they're meeting about mutual security, economic stuff, and democratic govern governance. Uh, so I guess just democracy. But we are bound well, by, the U.S. is bound by law to defend Taiwan. So if China would do anything right now, like, we would have to go to war with them. What law is that? I mean, I think um, I know about it, but, like... It is called the Taiwan Relations Act. It was passed in 1979. But we, the U.S. has still been assisting Taiwan since the 50s. And just for context, Taiwan was formed after... The... Uh, it was a civil war in China. Um, it was like a communist group. I forget the names of the groups, but it was a communist group versus a capitalist group, a democratic group. And eventually, obviously, the communists won in China, and that little group of democratic capitalist people went to Taiwan and basically formed their own country. But China still claims Taiwan, says it's theirs. It's not, but they say it is. <laughs> it's not. It's the... So, the, the bigger China, the PRC, the Public's Republic of, People's Republic of China, is a communist society. They kind of communist, socialist, whatever you want to be. I won't get too deep into that. They're only like... Not necessary. They're politically communist, but governmentally... Uh, pretty capitalist. Social. I mean, well, Wait, you're I right. mean, economically pretty capitalist, um, governmentally pretty communist. Because there's only one party, but economically, like, they have a huge system of people that own these massive businesses. And they like to control their people. They like to pretty much abuse their people. And their, the pollution in northern China is horrible due to the uh, factories. Yeah, they, have, that reside there. they abuse their massive workforce. They have a huge population and they just don't care about it. Because they have so many people. Like People are going to be working for them. They're going to always be making money. But then it goes to the argument of overpopulation. Now they have this law where you can... I'm I'm like 60% sure on this, but... They don't I have it anymore. Exactly. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> oh, that they don't have it anymore? They don't have it. I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore. Oh yeah, because... It has to be years ago, then. It was... it. Um, uh, I want to say sometime in the 40... I mean, not the 40, 50s, 60s, 70s. Somewhere along that, that timeline. They might... Yeah, I did read about it. I don't it. think they still have it, but they might. I don't know. Not sure. Actually, here, I'll get it. Uh, let's pull it up. But yeah, basically the law was restricting people from having more than two kids. Um... And they're just kind of to decrease the population because they have... Uh, it was in 1980 in... and only ended in 2016. Wow. Ooh, okay. That was like... <laughs> so that, that, wow, that was pretty recent. Was six years ago. That's bad. That feels like it was two years ago. It was a one-child policy, not a two-child policy. Oh, it was a one-child policy? Yep. Oh, wow, I thought it was two children. <laughs> 
This is my bad for the uh, bad, wrong information, but yeah. Either way, China has no right to Taiwan. Yeah. Um, they have. It's a it's a pretty basic civil war. The other people leave, except our civil war. The United States did it differently, but people leave and they go form their own. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all it was. They go form their own China. And they have no claim. And Taiwan's pretty peaceful. I mean... Yeah, they don't really uh, do, uh, do much like against other yeah, countries. They don't, they don't have a... I know they have a seat, they have a seat in the UN. But mm-hmm. besides that, they aren't in NATO. They aren't in any... Well, NATO's in Europe and North America. But they're yeah. not in any alliance that it could be a threat to China. In fact, they're really like... They're scared having of China. a brain dead... Yeah, there. It's it's like having a brain dead cousin. He doesn't do anything. He's just there. <laughs> no, that's so bad. that's what Taiwan is. <laughs> but he's yeah. not. I mean, they still he's have there. Like, like, they're a functioning society of, of people, but like exactly. they don't do anything cousins, to, to China to mess with them. Like they trade. Obviously. The cousin's body still functions, but he's just brain dead. <laughs> More like military. Not like brain dead in, st- in the yeah. They don't mean anything. Like yeah. if they were, they, they're not going to conquer anyone. On. They're not going to go to war with anybody. Like they're not. Threat. Not a threat to China. The reason why China wants it so bad because it's a reminder of the old, you know, democracy. It's just that. because it's they're, pretty... they're greedy. They just <laughs> yeah, and it's a, it's a punch in their face by having Taiwan there on their coast, basically, and it's super tiny compared to China. It's literally like having a, like game punch in the face. Like oh yeah, here. Yeah, uh, and we're it's, democracy. And it's like, like, Taiwan is like a little extension of the U.S. over to, to China. Yeah, it, but instead of having white people who, the, yeah, white people, they have Taiwanese Asians. people. <laughs> and I think okay, actually, Hong Kong is gonna uh, is gonna be China real soon. I don't know when because what happened in the '90s was that Hong Kong uh, was an, an, is an English colony, and then they gave up the colony and they gave it to China. And they're like, hey, no, it wasn't in the '90s. It was in uh, I'm pretty sure no, yeah, it was in the I '90s because Margaret Thatcher signed the bill. Um, Margaret Thatcher made the bill. She was basically like, okay, look, and I think it was 30. I might be wrong. It was in 30, 40 years that hey. You it was actually this, um, don't... 1997. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, really? Yeah. That was really... When, <laughs> All when these dates were like going it? way back, like thinking this was a long time ago. It's like fucking recent. No, this is really recent. How? What? Uh, what's the deal? Is it 40 years or 30 years? Oh, I forget, but it's not definitely... Oh, uh, 2047. <laughs> okay, so we are a lot closer to that than we are in 2017. So 50 years. So yeah, 40. Got... So, yeah, 50 years. And Hong Kong, okay, Hong Kong is like, people who don't know what Hong Kong is, it's like a little pimple, right? Imagine <laughs> having a pimple on your leg. It's a little... But yeah. then, that pimple, so like, let's say that, that your skin color is white, right? And that pimple you have on your little leg is the opposite of white, it's black. Now, don't like, don't put race into this, but what I'm just saying <laughs> is that... God. It's the same thing. You have your whole skin's white and you have like a black, dark pimple because the sun is making it black or whatever. And it's like that. And you can't take it off or you can't paint it white until it's 2047. But that they are. That is doing really good. No, but they yeah, are. But they they're are slowly. Forcing they are. Their laws onto them and like putting their own governors like in there like, you know. Taking it's like slowly food. starting to have like a little toothpick and trying to pimp away that little pimple. But, you know, it can take time, though. You can't take it away completely, because if you take it away completely, it will bleed, and it'll make a big mess. So you need to mm-hmm. slowly chip away at it. That's a, and... that's a really good analogy, actually. The way you said that at the end, that that makes sense. But, like, the yeah. beginning was kind of, like, <laughs> sus or some shit, dog. Man, shut your jiggly diggly bigly ass up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, besides the fact that China's being a little bit, uh, Baby, uh, there's another issue in the world right now. Uh, monkeypox, yes, especially in, that's Asia. Just in, in the United States now. Oh, it's a big thing now, yeah. Of course, there's actually, in fact, California, New York, and uh, I might be wrong, Idaho, no, Illinois. Sorry, sorry, no, I just couldn't think of the name. Illinois, uh, they 
have a not a lockdown, but they just declare a state of emergency. Okay. Now, if you think that like what might happen with COVID, like okay, they had an emergency and they get their lockdown. Now, see, this would make more sense for a lockdown, okay? Because monkeypox yeah. is kind of spread through physical contact. Yeah, right? it's spread, it spreads. It spreads through physical contact, and even like let's say someone stays at a hotel and has monkeypox and is laying in the bed sheets. When that like cleaning person comes in to clean those bed sheets, they're going to get it. <laughs> like if they don't have gloves and a mask. Yeah. Uh, if you don't cover, you're basically what you're touching. So. <laughs> Uh, and the result of monkeypox is that you get skin lesions, uh, your oh. horrible skin lesions. Uh, and I mean, your skin lesions look disgusting. Not even and the fact you look they're not even just hurt. skin lesions. You can get them in your throat, down your esophagus, in your eyes, which will blind you, um, <laughs> on your butthole, in your butthole, and up your rectum. Oof. That's like terrible. I really don't want to get it. I want to get the vaccine. And like I think you said that you can go blind, right? Yeah, if you get a lesion in your eye, you will like it's like a ninety percent chance you'll go blind. Like it's almost certain in that eye, in the eye that you get it. Yeah, and um, it's a rash. It's like a it's a hard like a round like a it has it pus like inside of it too. Like pimple. it leaks pus. It's kind of gross. Yeah, so they can either come, like, really black or, like, a regular pimple, or they can just, they can look like anything. They look like a pimple, really. Like, what like your, whatever your pimple, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really does. It's horrible. It's bad. And it looks... it's, it's like, uh, it's like a regular, uh, what's a regular pox? The thing that, that got extinct. Chicken pox? Of the... What? You think oh, about yeah, chicken pox. Chicken yeah. pox. It, it's like yeah, chicken, chicken pox, pox, but if the chicken pox were bigger. And like filled with <laughs> a lot of pus and leaked. Ugh. Yeah, so this just came out in uh, March. It developed in Africa and it moved its way over the con over the whole world. How any actually? I don't. Would. Are you sure it developed in Africa? Because I saw that it was. Uh yeah, South Africa. Oh okay. And I saw that South it was Asia. also in South Asia and uh, yeah, Australia too. Oh sorry, it's. The south of the world. Yeah. yeah. So right now, every state in the United States has been infected with at least one person except Montana and Wyoming. Because who lives in Montana? Hey, not, nobody's going to get it there. Nobody goes okay. there. Nobody leaves there. People that are there stay there. And there's like two people. <laughs> I know. It's... They're never so going to come in contact with each other. other. <laughs> <laughs> no, people go in the woods and just hunt. Oh, imagine that, like, a deer getting monkeypox. Oh, no. Like yeah, but cross-species transmission of a disease is super rare. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. But that was... COVID so, that is uh, cross-species. It was spreading through, like, cats and humans and, I think, uh, hamsters. <laughs> they killed a bunch in China. They killed a bunch of cats, killed a bunch of hamsters, or maybe it was gerbils. I, I don't that. remember. I saw that. I saw videos of them killing so many some other countries uh, too killed yeah. like some some cats and stuff well in the bigger states right now like california has 826 cases right now updated wow. um texas has 485 florida has two uh for, sorry 480 pennsylvania has 170 new york has 1617 oh my gosh michigan 34 uh, what a big state I'm missing. Let's just go Washington 123, Oregon 74, Nevada 25. As soon as the monkeypox hits Vegas, that's it. <laughs> New that's York, it. it's already, it's, New York's already done. That's the top. Remember how fast COVID spread in New York? It was the first, like, the, it became the biggest, like, the most affected city within a couple weeks, like, two weeks of the first COVID case. <laughs> Remember how insanely oh, fast it spread throughout the United States? And just imagine you can't turn into lockdown. Oh. On it, personally, I this will enjoy make, the lockdown. This will make more sense. Stimulus checks. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the stimulus. To me, this, to me, this lockdown seems more... I mean, every lockdown kind of makes sense in a way for COVID. It's an error. Yeah, COVID this was... one just makes... This makes sense too, COVID especially wasn't... when school starts because it's skin to skin and kids kids are yucky and they touch each other. <laughs> like 
Yeah. I'm not really that happy, man. I don't know. I'm really scared for Emma. This one, I, I, yeah. Because oh, she exactly. goes to daycare. And I, if she gets that, oh my gosh. I was trying to see if I could get her the vaccine, but I don't think uh, kids can get it. It says it hasn't been tested. I, well, anything I looked up anyway uh, it said that it hasn't been tested in kids. So I don't know. Uh, two vaccines may be used against the monkeypox virus infection. GI Neos is an Invimune and Invinex, okay. So that basically means that they put the monkeypox in your small, mm-hmm. more like most vaccines, put a little yeah. bit of the disease and they fight off the disease. Um, but it is not confirmed by the F, by CF, no, it's a CD, yeah, yeah. It's the FDA. Yeah, it's not confirmed for kids. Anyone under 18, I'm pretty sure, actually. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's not. And total, the United States has 6,326 cases of monkeypox. Then, like, I know that I doesn't sound like a lot, but once more people get it, it's going to spread faster. Because this is just a recorded of the hospitals, mostly. Yeah, and it's um, a lot of people like don't get it super bad. Like, it's not deadly. Only like 2% die. Yeah, it's not deadly, but it's just It's hurt. painful, it's extremely painful. painful. <laughs> and um, it, it is really deadly in cho- possibly possibly deadly in children and toddlers, babies and toddlers. Anyone up to, like, the age of six, possibly older. Which like, is another reason why COVID. I'm scared for Emma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's three. She's turning she's four three. in a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Like, I got COVID, but, like, I was fine. COVID's different. COVID just, like, COVID felt like getting the flu. COVID was, like, dangerous for older people, smaller children, people with, like, underlying diseases. This will be painful for everybody. <laughs> like, no yeah, matter what. this is what. just gonna hurt. I got COVID. I just felt like I got sick, and I was fine. That's it. This is good. There's lesions on... We haven't had a chicken pox case in so long. Well, we've had chicken I mean, pox, but have... not, like, an outbreak. Yeah, we haven't had an outbreak. This is horrible. <laughs> this is worse than chicken pox. There was also, um, a cu- uh, was it one or a couple cases of polio somewhere? Oh my god, what? Uh, there was a case of polio in the United States recently. Is it really polio detected in New York? Wastewater? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. New Yorkers urge, urge to get the polio vaccine. Oh my god. Polio strain in in New York. Okay, well at least there's no. Okay, well it's it's in the wastewater though, so. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's gross, bad. We don't they don't administer the vaccine right anymore. Oh, they do. Everybody gets the polio vaccine. Oh really? I thought they yeah. just stopped because they. No. Oh, okay, good. Even Emma got it. Emma got it. That's good. I probably got it. I'm good. Mm-hmm. You probably got it by mouth. They do it by mouth mostly. Uh, they mostly have done it by mouth since 2000. But okay, yeah, I was born 2000. So sometimes they do shots. Oh my god, there's just so many. The so California has administered 25,000 doses of the monkeypox vaccine, and they have received 61,000. So that's about oh, that's a lot. Almost half. That's gone. Vaccines. That's yeah, well, yeah nobody wants to get that shit. I wonder if Republicans but are gonna. Can everyone get the vaccine? Are there like people with underlying health conditions that can't? What's the what's the deal? What's the deal with that? Most people, a lot of people with underlying health conditions can't get certain vaccines. Just because, like most of people with autoimmune disorders, yeah, that's just it, it. Sucks having an autoimmune disorder in general. Uh, condition duration. I can't really find anything that says you can't get the vaccine. Um, mostly everybody can catch monkeypox. Everybody can. But not catch everyone. Them. Not everyone is being offered a monkeypox vaccine because doses are in short supply and the risk of exposure is low. 
only select individuals are currently being offered the vaccine. This is namely those who are considered high risk by the CDC and the health authorities. Um, high Jeez. risk includes those likely to have been exposed via sexual encounters in the past 14 days, including multiple, most likely gay men who don't. Okay, that's uh, fucking. That, it's skin to skin. It's not sexually transmitted. Yes, it is. Look, dog. It's a, it's skin um, to skin, so it can be transmitted while having sex, but it's not yeah, an STD. Those having, those having multiple sexual encounters during the previous fourteen days, uh, healthcare workers care for someone who suspected or proven to have monkeypox in the past fourteen days. What to do if you're not eligible? Uh, basically, just avoid skin to skin, man. And that sucks for people who are just about to start school. <laughs> And um, you can also get it, like, if somebody was sitting on something for a long time that had it, like, the particles will stay there. Hmm, that's not really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's wrap it up. So, closing statement, sec? Um, monkeypox, I hope I don't get that. I hope nobody gets that. I hope no, nobody gets that. Anybody that's watching this or uh, anyone ever. It's terrible. But I'm just scared for your daughter, man. I really hope she yeah. oh my gosh. I don't I don't know. If if a single kid in her daycare gets it, I think I'm just gonna take her out of daycare. I mean I don't I don't I'm not even the one that has her in daycare. Mother has her in daycare. Like she's <laughs> no, but, okay. her mom to take her but out. you gotta worry about her mom because do you think her mom even knows about what it monkey but do you think she yeah can? her mom's not like stupid you know she's not yeah but do you think she's aware of like hey i'm not gonna put Alyssa in public that much because of like don't go to like huge public gatherings oh know? i don't i don't i don't know i don't think she really goes to any huge public gatherings she only really goes to family things okay that's good then yeah well, uh, for me, I just want to say that the I'm excited for more James Webb stuff, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. How that long really does cool that take pictures for? I just want It's like the final question. I don't know. Um, hmm. Hey, you switched it up. I have no idea. But yeah, well, so World War Three. don't worry about World War Three. I promise you World War Three won't oh. happen. Oh, it has enough fuel for more than 10 years. Well, I like it. I like it, Picasso. Um, but yeah, generally, don't worry about World War Three. Everything's gonna be fine about that. Nothing's really gonna happen. Yeah, I, and that would it suck if something did happen. It. But it's real. It's unlikely that anything will happen because nobody wants to go to war. China doesn't want to go to war with the United States. And the United States doesn't want to go to war with China. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, trust me, nothing's gonna happen. Um, stay safe from uh, if you're don't in get lucky like, people. Yeah. And uh, especially monkey box. Oof, that's painful. I still, I still get polio, dog. <laughs> that's like crippling lifetime. No, that will. That polio basically destroys your nerve cells and your spinal mm -hmm. cord. So don't even. Okay, don't drink waste water. Yeah, but yeah, don't, um, don't drink shit. Yeah, <laughs> just dehydrate your whole life, and you'll be fine. You'll be polio free. Yeah. Anyways, um, this was a common crisis podcast, and uh. Thank you for watching or hearing. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hearing, listening. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs>